So this is going to be the IMJC IMDB. My producer came up with this name challenge game, and uh, yeah, that's that, that's where we're going to go again. Top uh, uh, generated things for these actors, whether it be TV or show uh, or movie, specifically to IMDB. So you know their algorithm might be a little different than Google's. Let's find out. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah. so the first one is a guest uh, that I had on the on the show uh, a while back. His name uh, his name is Harvey Guillen. Are you familiar? Guillen. Guillen. How do you spell it? G U I L L E N. I can't think of any movies yet. RV gear. Or TV shows. Or TV shows. I don't know who that is. Perfect. I guess I get this round. Um, I'll go with uh, <laughs> the FX show, What We Do in the Shadows. That's the dude from that show? Yeah. <laughs> he's, the, he's, the, he's the familiar. <laughs> oh, that guy's great. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's a great dude. He's going to be really sad that, you, that Doug Benson doesn't know who he is when I release this. <laughs> What's his character name? Uh, uh, Guillermo. Yeah, Guillermo's awesome. He was on, I saw him on an episode of Zoe's Infinite Playlist. Yeah, he was on there too. Oh, well, wait, can we give that to him if, if that one came up top? Let's see what let's see what came up top there, Doug. Ooh, I the top one. I, I like that guy. I just don't know his name. Yeah. I, I'm bad with names too sometimes, but... Uh, I, again, I'm kind of cheating because I do know these guys from my show. The internship was number one. Eye candy was number two. What we do in the shadows, number three. And the fourth top one is the Thundermans. It's a Nickelodeon superhero TV show. Yeah, I'm sure he's one of those guys. Once I started liking him on what we do in the shadows, like then he's going to like pop up in when I'm streaming like other older shows I haven't seen and stuff. He'll uh, pop up here and there and, uh, I, I like that guy a lot. That that sh- what we do in the shadows is great. Such the only people show. I can name, I can only name the guy that plays the, uh, um, you know the the uh, time time waster. <laughs> oh oh yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the the life the vampire. life sucker or whatever they call him. Yeah yeah, the, <laughs> the energy vampire. The energy his vampire. Mark, yeah, his name is Mark Prolsch. Yeah, and um. Matt Barry is one of the main vampires, yep. but I don't know the other vampire's name. I don't know the lady's name. Yeah, I gotta learn them. But you know, like some of the opening titles of these shows, they don't you know they don't show the face with the name. That's true. So it takes a while. They to get show used a painting. They, they show paintings on that one of 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 the lead characters. I think when they put them next to the actor names, but their names aren't matching with them. You uh, know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. One of those ones where it's just random ass, but. Uh, great show. Looking forward to season three shooting now, I believe. Yes, absolutely. And uh, they, they'll get easier. Don't worry. The next one, uh, well, I think they'll get easier. You can't say that. You know, my producer you said they'll get easier. And I'm like, I don't know if they'll get easier. All right. So the next one. I, all right. Right now, Johnny's got a point. Doug's got zero. The next one is Ethan Embry. Okay. So I just have to name what I think is the number one Ethan Embry thing that shows on, up on imdb whether it be tv IMDb. show or movie all right i'm gonna say that ethan Embry's number one is man i'm gonna go with empire records Ooh, that's a great guess i'm gonna go with can't hardly wait because that was that was a great movie for for my teenage years i fell in love with jennifer love hewitt in that movie so uh i'm gonna go with can't hardly wait let's see what we got here First one is Sweet Ala- Sweet Home Alabama. Empire Records is number two. The point goes to Doug. Number three was That Thing You Do. Can't Hardly Wait was number four. So you, you get the point because it came, Empire Records came up at number two. We're all tied up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. When my, when my graphic guy cuts this all up, it'll look awesome. But it's, it's going to be a complete mess right now. <laughs> I think you're doing great. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. All right. This next one's going to be either easy or hard. Depends on if you've looked yourself up. Doug Benson, what do you think pops up top the top uh, rated thing on your IMDb? Oh, on mine? Yeah. 
Okay, that's going to be... I got to go Lego Batman. Ooh, as Bane. We didn't even get into that in the show, but I know that very well. My son loves it. Um, I'm going to go with uh, maybe a layup, maybe not. I'm going to go with Super High Me. I think I think that one's going to show up before on IMDb. Let's see what happens. Lego Batman, he gets another point, is the number one. How I Met Your Mother is followed up there. You're the Worst and Tro- uh, Trevor Saves the Universe, a video game and cartoon, are your top four. Yeah, I'm, I'm finally proud of my top four. Like For the longest time, there'd be like two or three things in there that I'm like, why the hell is that in there? But yeah. this is a really solid why, top four. Why isn't Friends in there? Why you you you're, you're you have that spot on where you're you're almost getting hooked yeah. up with Rachel, which would have been amazing, right? I'm kind of shocked that it's never uh, you know because I check you know I look at it every once in a while and I never noticed uh, Friends being in the top four. They've had some really uh, odd things like sometimes they'll pull something that you were a writer on. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's I don't I don't know how that that part works exactly. I mean, I know. I know it's based on the popularity of the various things, but yeah, it's weird. So I'm happy with this top four though, because I that Trover Saves the Universe is a really fun video game because it was you know created by Justin Roiland and, and his company uh, Squanch Games, and um, I just got to you know say the lines they wanted me to say, but then just tons of other shit because it's one of those games where. You know, you can you can play it either way. You can either do it with the headset on. You know, you can do the VR version, or you yeah. can just you can just play it on a on whatever your game thing is. But it is one of those games where if you're not going the right way, I'll tell you fifty different ways what the fuck you you know. I'll I'll just stand there and scream at you all these different jokes that you know you don't hear if you just run through the game and succeed at everything oh i would definitely hear it yeah i can't succeed at any game so i would definitely be oh it would just be me getting to listen to you while i, while I try and play a video game <laughs> somebody put the whole thing like everything that every character says like on youtube and it's so long and like uh i you know, I couldn't, it was hard to get to, but I think I listened to all, all of my part just because I was really curious Yeah, uh, what what things I would say, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but so that was really cool. And you're the worst. I got to be on a bunch of episodes as myself, which was super fun to do. And Lego Batman, you mentioned that uh, Bane is an awesome character. And um, what was the other one? Oh, How I Met Your Mother. I, yep. I'm a... Uh, you know, I'm a security guy at an airport, airport yeah. who's eating cereal out of a box, and he lets um, what's his name, Jason Siegel's character, Marshall. Mm-hmm. He lets Marshall leave Amsterdam with. He's clearly holding. He's like so nervous. <laughs> and my, I don't even know why. Or maybe it's in the United States when he lands. I guess that's what it's supposed to be like. I'm in New York or something. And anyway. So that's the joke is if I'm eating cereal out of a box, of course, I'm not going to give this guy a hard time. Yeah. Because I, I must be high as well. <laughs> that, that, was, that was the whole joke. And they you were did, typecasted. I, you were typecasted on that one. No, but they, that one, they didn't hire me because I because they knew who I was. They hired me because the casting director just brought in comedians and they liked the way I said it. So <laughs> they found out. Like the day I was on the set, one of the writers came over and went, "Oh, this is pretty funny that, that you're doing this. That's not why we picked you." That's that's really <laughs> interesting. I love that. Yeah. See, this is why the tape keeps going, Doug. For little little things like that, that's why we keep the tape rolling. <laughs> I just had a genuine stoner, you know, thing at the audition. I probably wasn't even high at the audition because I probably had to drive yeah. all the way over, all the way over to 20th Century Fox. It's a real, it's a real schlep. <laughs> I'm sure. All right, let's get, okay, so the the score is as as you may recall, two to one in your favor, and we're moving on to another guest of Drinks with Johnny, Joe Maganella. Oh, that guy! His number one is most certainly going to be uh, Magic Mike. I, you, you just took you just stole mine, and I know we can't say the same thing. So um, you could say Magic Mike too. Yeah, XL. <laughs> I'm going to go off the big fat because I, I, I'm noticing that these may not be necessarily the most popular things that they're known for, 
maybe it's coming up because of um, uh, recency. So I'm going to go with, going to have to go with uh, his movie Arch Enemy that, that, that was out uh, last November or last December. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. It was True Blood is the number one. Should have known that. We talked about that on the show. Spider-Man, when he was uh, the you know, he was Flash. Um, Magic Mike XXL comes in at number three. So the sequel, not the original. And then Pee-wee's Big Holiday. Oh, he was so great in Pee-wee's Big Holiday. Did you watch it on Netflix? It was so good. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet, but you really had a chance there with uh, the... The Magic I don't know like if that. I don't know if anyone gets the point. That happens on this thing for some reason. Sequels sometimes will be in there when the original's not even there. I know. I should have gone for it, but I mean, neither one of us get that point. All right, we're out. Here's another that's one. Why, that's why we when we play a game kind of like this on Douglas movies. That's why it's called Weird Algorithm because it's um, so hard to figure out exactly why things are ranked the way they are. Yeah. So it's super random. I kind of love it though. Cause all right. The score is still two one. We've talked about him a couple of times today. Brian Posehn. Oh, what's his number one? Oh goodness. Ah, dang. That's tough. I'm, I'm going to say just shoot me. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think it would show up, but I want to say the Revolver Awards because that's where I think we first met. And I know that the award shows still show up. And you I do th- sometimes. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I think I'm probably wrong, but the first one is Run, Ronnie, Run. Second one. He's in that Rob, Rob, I'm also want to throw in that he's in that Rob Zombie movie. That's the, right. Uh, yeah, I should have gone with that. He's doing Devil's Rejects. I should have gone for that. But it's not on here, so I'm glad I didn't. Is run, it? No, Run, Runny, Run is number one. The Sarah Silverman program is number two. Sure. Knights of Badassdom is number three. And the five year engagement is number oh, four. Yeah. So neither one of ours were even in the top. Yeah, that's with what that was with Jason Siegel and uh, yeah. Emily Blunt. Brian, Brian played a uh, pickle merchant. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> I was shocked when Brian didn't show up in Seth Rogen's Pickle movie. <laughs> oh, that was... Dude, that would have been a very easy transition right there, right? Yeah, Brian should be in all the Pickle movies. <laughs> He's just the Pickle guy. <laughs> he did. He learned a lot. He learned a shit ton about Pickles to be in that five-year engagement movie because he worked in a place called... I'm going to screw up the name, but it's a very popular place in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Zuckerberg's? No. Oh. <laughs> Zingerman, Zingerman, Zingerman. Okay, Zingerman. Zingerman's. Yeah. Right. Uh, he's super into that place, and then uh, super into uh, pickles. <laughs> All right. Moving, <laughs> no one gets the point again. I think we're, we're, we're both doing great at this game. Um, <laughs> right. I'm winning, though, right? Yes, you're still up two to one. Okay. And our next... Our next <laughs> Our next actor is, is Thora Birch. Oh, TB. Uh, first time I did Jimmy Kimmel Live while I was doing my stand-up, they, the guests used to like, you know, it was very early on in the show, the guests would stay the whole time. Yeah. Slash, Slash was guest co-hosting for the week. So Slash and Thora Birch and Jimmy Kimmel, when I look over, that's the three people I see while I'm uh, telling, telling jokes. It was very strange. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to run over there and put his top hat on, on Thor's head. So, um, but for Thor Birch, I'm just going to stick my neck out and just go with what everybody should think is her greatest shining, crowning achievement, and that's Ghost World. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I could either go American Beauty, The Walking Dead, but I'm going to go... I'm going to go with Hocus Pocus. I just, I got to go with it. Lots of great ways to go with our clear and present danger. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's <laughs> see it. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch, Doug. Number one answer was Ghost World. Number two was Hocus Pocus. I missed you just by that much. Third was uh, Patriot Games and then American Beauty. 
I had the wrong Jack Ryan. Movie, I know. But, when you said that, I was like, I don't think she was in there. <laughs> uh, and, and uh, yeah, because it's a cliffhanger at the end of one of them. Like, what if the, what sex the baby's going to be? Yeah. Like, anybody cared. And then and <laughs> Thora, Birch, Thora Birch showed up in the next one, I guess. Mm-hmm. All right, another one that has uh, been on both of our shows, Ron Funches. What do you think his his top one comes up as? Oh, Funches of Funches. What would he be? I'm going to go, because I think they do well with the algorithms Mm -hmm. on the IMDb as children and family things. So I'm going to say trolls. Okay, so I could do the whole... Price is right here thing and give you Trolls World Tour, but I'm not going to do that to you because you're a guest on my show and you're sticking around. So I appreciate that. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go with his uh, with his stand up special giggle fit. I think. Th- I think. I think that one might actually show up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Trolls, the number one answer, of course. I got to play this game and not let him guess first. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the second the second thing that shows up is six underground uh the third thing oh. is once upon a time in venice and fourth was get hard i don't remember him in get hard do you remember him in that get hard what are, do you know what his role was i don't i mean i know the movie fairly well i've probably seen it you know, two or three times maybe i don't i don't recall his uh his role in that do you yeah he's uh but he's really doing a lot of stuff and uh you know, he's always great. Like the, I've, I've heard him, like sometimes I'll see his name on an animated thing and he like doesn't do, he doesn't sound like Ron. Like Ron's good with doing the character voices in, in addition to his own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. And he can sing. He can sing too, which I, I had never knew, knew that. I didn't know he can sing. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't bring that up when we were, when, when we were over here. But, uh, yeah, I, I got to see a stand up that night. About it or... What's that? Maybe the, yeah, maybe the auto tune, the trolls. <laughs> that's true i guess i heard it in that yeah because he, he said that was produced he, he does a little bit more rapping than he does singing in that right yes but i think i saw another thing where he was straight up singing if i'm not mistaken because i was i was taken aback and i uh but i liked it but i of course i can't remember what it was now yeah i don't i don't but, understand why yeah but you should definitely next time you play this alternate with the guest yeah i'm definitely gonna start. do that but it was the first time around and as i said you've been such a gracious guest yeah that i that i wanted to make sure you won and i had to take a shot of the of the cowboy hat um you gotta you gotta beta test this shit yeah exactly now it's done you know <laughs> years from now when you're playing this game people look back and remember how dumb it was when duck played what if what if you're the only one that ever beats me like we just play this game all the time and I think I see. I feel like you're going to be really good at it, and the only thing that's holding you back is that I have gotten to go first every time. <laughs> you know, I think we'd yeah. be more. I think we'd be more even, or you might even be winning if we alternated. Because also it's timing, you know. Because if you alternate, if you don't know which one's coming next, which you don't, right? Yeah. Then, and uh, you know, if you alternate, who's going to get one that's easier than another? You know, because sometimes, like that first name, I just do a complete blank on. Yeah, uh, you know, you would, you would, you would, you would have wiped up there if you had gotten it first. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's I, I come up with these games and play them all the time on talk about movies, and uh, it's so easy to screw things up when you're just like one or two people just putting stuff together. <laughs> <laughs>